Both Fallout 3 and New Vegas are getting on a bit, and could certainly benefit from a bit of TLC. With the games being more popular than ever before, thanks to Amazon's live-action TV adaptation, you might be left wondering how to get started. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's take a look at the best way to play Fallout 3 and New Vegas in 2024 with mods. Before we begin, you'll need four things. A copy of Fallout 3 and all of its DLC, a copy of New Vegas alongside all of its downloadable content, a Nexus Mods account, and a program called Wabberjack, which is an automated way to install user-made mod lists, but more on that later. Okay, on to the good stuff. Cut it out. Begin Again, Tale of Two Wastelands is a tailored list of over 300 mods maintained by Spring Hill John over on Nexus Mods. But how does it differ to Bethesda's vanilla experience? This collection of modifications aims to deliver the definitive experience for players used to some of the features of more modern games, whilst seamlessly combining both Fallout 3 and New Vegas into a single playable experience thanks to the Tale of Two Wastelands Total Conversion Project by Pin2Cat. But what does this all really mean for you? Well, not only can you continue your playthrough of Fallout 3 and all of its DLC directly into Fallout New Vegas with the same character, thanks to a brand new and custom-made quest added into the game, but you'll also have the gameplay mechanics of New Vegas whilst exploring the DC wastelands, such as the companion wheel, weapon modifications, enhanced crafting, and more. And the good times don't stop there. With just over 320 modifications included, there's a bevy of improvements to appreciate. But here's our favorites. Vanilla UI Plus, as well as the HUD editor, both help to enhance your PC-specific experience, showing more of the information you need to know whilst getting rid of the console-like clutter and font sizing. Gameplay tweaks like Sawyer Batty and Perk Sawyer, which focus on rebalancing your time in the wastelands with difficulty adjustments, stat alterations, and more, all whilst being based on the now iconic J Sawyer New Vegas mod, which was originally created and uploaded by Joshua Sawyer, the project director and lead designer of Fallout New Vegas. Tale of Two Wastelands Quick Start is, as the name implies, a handy mod that bypasses the somewhat tedious opening of Fallout 3, skipping the Vault 101 introduction, and starting your Wasteland adventure right outside the Vault door. But don't worry, because if you do want to experience the start of the game, this mod is entirely optional. The Just Vanilla Sprint mod adds the option to, you guessed it, Sprint, something not introduced until Fallout 4. Melee attack options for non-melee weapons are now possible, thanks to the B42 Melee Bash mod. A small but greatly appreciated addition is the higher resolution screen mod, which does away with the original forced 720p output of screens like your Pip-Boy, computer terminals, and character creation menu, and instead renders to your native screen resolution. The Diagonal Movement and 360 Movement modifications are two mods that, in tandem, do a fantastic job of removing the clunkiness found in the original games by allowing for more responsive controls, procedural leaning around corners, and more. The option to aim down sights, as introduced in Fallout New Vegas, in Fallout 3, makes a huge difference in making combat feel more tactical, and the inclusion of being able to cook grenades adds another layer to the combat mechanics too. Updated textures for weapons, locations, items, and clothing are included too, such as the Cloves HD Kids mod, which remasters all of the clothing for children in both New Vegas and Fallout 3, making use of 2K and 4K textures. There's also full integration of DLC-specific weapons and armor sets across both games. a tremendous amount of in-game customization options, such as tweaking how much XP you earn from specific actions, enabling or disabling certain NPC behaviors, and more. To top it off, Begin Again also includes a ton of in-game fixes and custom patches to keep your Fallout experience crash-free and running smoothly. While that all sounds great, it also sounds like it could take a lot of work. Fret not, because this will be the easiest modding experience you've ever had, and it's thanks to a wonderful program called Wabberjack. 
Here's what you need to do. Number one, download Fallout 3 and New Vegas, making sure they're both entirely clean installs. This is really important, just in case you've previously modded the games and have some leftover files. Number two, download Wabberjack from their website. Number three, sign into your Nexus Mods account. Number four, locate the Begin Again Tale of Two Wastelands mod list under the Fallout New Vegas category. And number five, get installing and make sure to read the setup guide for any extra instructions you need to follow. And please, make sure you don't skip this step. It really is that simple. And thankfully, you're not going to have to worry about what load order the mods need to be in, configuring them one by one, and other inconveniences that might pop up when installing a mountain of mods. Wabberjack sorts that out for you. It's important to preface that, unless you've got a Nexus Premium account, you'll have to download each mod separately. But don't worry, as Wabber still installs the modifications for you, it's just a single extra step. And now you're ready to experience an enhanced Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Begin Again, A Tale of Two Wastelands shouldn't feel out of place for those looking to venture into the wastelands for the first time, or even series veterans who just want a spruced up experience. With Begin Again installed, and your lone wanderer ready to go, you should be all set for a fantastic time in both Fallout 3 and New Vegas. And for the small price of around 48 gigabytes of storage and over 300 hand-picked mods, this vanilla-friendly experience should be all you need for the best way to dive back into the wasteland. You're awake. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but it... Have you got a favorite Fallout mod? Let us know in the comments below. And for even more on Fallout, make sure to watch our video on the nine things you should not do in Fallout 4 or 14 things Fallout 4 doesn't tell you.